sausage. Keep a little bit of space on it. Otherwise, when it's pan, the sausage you cannot see it. And then it starts all rolling. We gotta hold it down before we unmold it. Uh, fluffy and the texture looks like uh, cotton. Our ham and cheese and the chocolates. Hello everyone, welcome again to Archie's Blogs baking episodes. Today we gotta make one of the fluffish, soft, cotton like kind of bread. And normally this bread is very famous in a bakery chain which is known as uh, bread top so i hope guys it will help for you all right to start that we have a 80 grams of bread flour and 400 grams of water mix it so what we're gonna do now is we have to cook it until it become paste. This is our natural bread improver. It will give nice cottony and soft texture of our bread. So the texture should be like that. Something like Islami, but uh, like like a paste. All right. For the second batch of our ingredients, we have a, a 1,160 grams of uh, bread flour, 30 grams of salt, and then 150 grams of sugar. If you want to make it sweeter, you guys you can add more sugar until to 250 grams. And we have a 40 grams of instant dry yeast. And we have also a 10 grams of red and throwback. Two pieces of an egg. And then 450 grams of fresh milk. And then our natural bread and throwback. The flour that has been cooked. guys so that's the time we're gonna add our butter this is one of the method also that we must follow so that the bread will not dry the fat is always on the last ingredients we have a 450 grams guys it depends on the kind of the flour I always remind that it depends on the kind of the flour some flour they need more liquid some flour it is required less so if you think that the mixture is, is wet very soft you can add a little bit from for the flavor and aroma guys there's a lot of options guys there's a vanilla extract or you guys, especially in Asian country, you can put the pandan extra. It's really nice flavor for the bread. So I'm gonna put this uh, 10 ml of vanilla, vanilla extra. You have to check the elasticity of the dough. Check. check. Not check. Not so it's almost. Normally in kneading the dough, guys, I don't give the time because it's depending on the kind of your ingredients and also the kind of machinery that you have. There is no specific time but to it, based on the experience. By the books, they are telling the story that's 50 minutes, 10 minutes in terms of kneading the dough. So I think it's almost done. As you can see, this is window paint tasting. So as you can see, now it's really elastic. Yes.
All right, now it's ready for bulk fermentation. They call us bulk fermentation. So, flour on the bottom. And then, we have to cover it. We have this kind of beautiful cover. So, we have to wait 45 minutes to one hour until it becomes double in volume. Surprise! Hey guys, after one hour, as you can see, yeah, so this is the bulk fermentation. It's already double in volume. Press a little bit on it, degas it. So we're gonna portion it now. So we are ready for press shaping. First thing that we're gonna do is the loaf. The loaf fan. So we need the 500. And then we have to be divided in four. So we can spray our mold. And then line up the bottom with baking paper. Three basic. And this one. Seal so it will come like this. All right, and then other side. Yeah, should be sealed. Seal. gonna do is the sausage roll. And then our sausage. Yes. And still it. We have to give a little bit balance on it because otherwise when you expand the bread you cannot see the sausage anymore. So sausage. Give a little bit of space on it. Otherwise when you expand the sausage you cannot see it. And then it starts Rolling. rolling, 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 yeah, it's balanced. And then at the end, silk. Okay, so it will come up like this, like a roof. This is how it looks like. Ready for proofing. After the finish. On the cooper, as you can see, it's already expanded. So now I wash. And on the rolls, this is for our cross. So we can make also a chicken cross. So 
Alright, so we set the oven at 230 degrees Celsius, depending on the height of the oven. And we can cook it about 10 to 12 minutes. And then here is our now loaf. You can uh, press also the egg wash. Remember, one way only. So we gotta cook in 180 degrees Celsius because it's low fat. So if you take too long the oven, we're gonna bake it around 20 minutes to 25 minutes. So the temperature is lower, consider to be small one, because otherwise it will get burned on top. And it's for our kids, the suicide is wrong. It's fancy guys. So we will pull it down. So we gotta call it down before we unmold it. Alright, the next will be the ham and cheese, guys. So simple, basically, and we flat the dough like this way. And then the ham on it. We we'll roll it. Seal. And we twist it. Make it round. Join together. And then cut into half. So it will come like this way. Alright, for the chicken cloth, we will make it very simple. Just make it round like this and a little bit flattened on it. chocolate chips so we have already rolls Make it 
So now expanded already. So we got a brush with egg wash. Our ham and cheese only on the side. Because this one we gotta put cheese on. And now mayonnaise. And then it's a combination of cheddar cheese and mozzarella. On top. Ready for it to bake. Into 230 to 240 degrees Celsius, depending on the kinds of your oven. Alright, guys, now our chocolate baton, mini baton. So, we're gonna cut by the scissors. It's very traditional in a French way. Can you also like this way? Alright, so now for our floss, chicken floss. After we bake the rolls, actually it's basic is the roll. Mayonnaise on the top. You guys, if you want to make the sweet version, you can combine the mayonnaise and condensed milk. But we want savory, that's why we apply only mayonnaise. Just coat on the top. Simple as like that, and then our floss. Alright. Alright. So, as you can see, guys, our ham and cheese. So this is all kind of savory chicken floss. And then the sausage roll. As you can see the sausage on it. And the chocolate. The texture is really soft, you can see, and uh, fluffy, and the texture looks like uh, cotton. So this is the texture guys, it's cottony texture, very soft and fluffy. So guys, if you are looking for the fluffiest, uh, milk bread, I think is the best one.
Look at this. And our ham and cheese. And this is our floss, chicken floss. The sausage roll. So this is that we come up in the in this kind of basic dough. All right, guys. I'll see you.